Grace and peace to you in Jesus' name. Today, February the 2nd, is the feast of the presentation of Jesus as an infant in the temple. And as such, I thought that I would post a recording for evening prayer and invite you to join with me in this daily office of evening prayer. Um, I, I should post below this a link so that you can pull up the actual service from the 2019 prayer book, which is what we'll be using with the exception of the prayer of absolution that will come from John Wesley's version uh, instead of the 2019. Also, we'll be using the scripture readings from morning prayer instead of evening prayer because the gospel reading in morning prayer really focuses on the actual presentation of Jesus in the temple. And I did not, I did not post a morning prayer office, so we're going to do that here in the evening. And so I would invite you to join with me in this time of prayer. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence to give thanks for the great benefits we received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. O Lord, we beseech you, absolve your people from their offenses that through your bountiful goodness we may be delivered from the bands of those sins which by our frailty we've committed. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Savior. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm comes to us this evening from the 24th Psalm. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false and do not swear deceitfully, they will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, 
that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verses 1 through 13, and then 21 through 32. Jacob went on his way, and and the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's camp. So he called that place Mahanaim. Jacob sent messengers before him to his brother Esau in the land of Seir, the country of Edom, instructing them, Thus you shall say to my lord Esau, Thus says your servant Jacob, I have lived with Laban as an alien and stayed until now. And I have oxen, donkeys, flocks, male and female slaves, and I have sent to tell my Lord in order that I may find favor in your sight. The messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to your brother Esau, and he is coming to meet you, and four hundred men are with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. And he divided the people that were with him and the flocks and herds and camels into two companies, thinking, if Esau comes to the one company and destroys it, then the company that is left will escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac, O Lord, who said to me, return to your country and to your kindred and I will do you good. I am not worthy of the least of all the steadfast love and all the faithfulness that you have shown to your servant. For with only my staff I crossed this Jordan, and now I have become two companies. Deliver me, please, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I am afraid of him. He may come and kill us all, and the mothers with the children. Yet you said, I will surely do you good, and make you your offspring as the sand of the sea, which cannot be counted because of their number." So he spent that night there, and from what he had and from what he had with him, he took a present for his brother Esau. Verse 21. So the present passed on ahead of him, and he himself spent the night in the camp. The same night he got up and took his two wives, his two maids, and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream. And likewise, everything that he had, Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on the hip socket and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with humans and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But he said, why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called that place Peniel, saying, for I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. The sun rose upon him as he passed Penuel, limping because of his hip. Therefore, to this day, the Israelites do not eat the thigh muscle that is on the hip socket because he struck Jacob on the hip socket at the at the thigh muscle. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Join with me with the song of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. For he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. 
He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verses 22 to 40. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory to, and glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Israel. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Join with me as we respond with the very song that we heard Simeon sing. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Join with me as we confess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Join with me in the second set of prayers. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace in your church and in the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we humbly pray that as your only begotten Son was this day presented in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the source of all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Father, we give thanks to you this day for your grace poured out to us. We pray, Lord, for uh, safety in the midst of the oncoming winter storm. We ask, Lord, for your protection. We pray, Father, for health and healing for all those who have uh, experienced issues with COVID. We pray, Father, that you would draw us all close to you this evening and keep us close to you. Help us to be witnesses to those around us. We give thanks to you for your blessings in Jesus' name. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation and preservation and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you've promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.